Guys, welcome back to Strong Successful Mail. So for today, I'm going to go over an article titled Away Cancelled, Why the Netflix Show is Ending After One Season. And guys, in case you didn't see that show on Netflix, that show truly is political correctness on steroids. I mean, it was a, a social justice warrior's dream come true because pretty much every little agenda and movement you can think of was pushed in that show and shoved in the audience's faces. No joke, okay? And those of you guys that did see it, you know what I'm talking about. And basically, this show is about a joint effort between different countries to send the first man-made, manned um, spaceship to Mars and to be on Mars for a certain period of time and, and grow plants and live there and all that shit, okay? And this show, to no surprise, was canceled. Just like a lot of movies that, like for instance, a lot of these movies which they redid, like the female Ghostbusters, which was a total flop, or the Charlie's Angels movie that was a flop, or the Terminator Dark Fate that, yeah, made money, but wasn't like the other Terminator movies that didn't do well, all with this female empowerment type of thing going on. These movies and shows don't do well. And so when I started watching the show back in early September when it first came out, I like this kind of stuff, so I checked it out. And from the first episode, you could see just all this crap they're trying to push on the audience. And at the end of the day, people want to be entertained, but they don't want this crap shoved in their faces, okay? And that's what Hollywood has been doing for a while now, and it's constantly blowing up in their faces. And it's no surprise at this, this, this show that I think if they didn't do all that, it may have continued on for a second or third season because it was entertaining, but it was also entertaining just seeing all the crap they're trying to push on the audience. And to give you just real quick off the top of my head example, they were pushing gender equality, racial equality, uh, LGBTQ relationships, uh, religion, um, inclusion of physically handicapped people, inclusion of mentally handicapped people, inter interracial relationships, and there was way more. I just can't think of them all. And let me make something clear, guys, with regards to this show. I don't care. Before anybody decides to come on here, my enemies, and label me as a hater or something like that, let me make this clear. I don't care what color you are, what race you are, what religion you are, how much money you make, how much education you have. Um, what status you have in your job, all these different things, whether you're mentally handicapped or physically handicapped, all these things. I don't, uh, straight, gay, lesbian, whatever. I don't care. If you're a nice person, cool. I like you. You know, that's it. Period. I don't care about these different things. On the other hand, if you're an asshole, I'm not going to have anything to do with you. Okay? So I don't care about these things, but I just don't want them shoved in my face when I'm trying to sit down with a little bit of free time I have to watch a show. And it's no surprise that this thing didn't work. And so they're scratching their head saying, why did this show not work? Well, in my opinion, that was probably it. And you're going to see in this article what I'm talking about. But basically, guys, in this show, they go to Mars and they, they make the trip to Mars, but there's all this stuff and it's unbelievable. So I'm going to read it here and I'll add in things along the way. It says, away, Netflix traveling drama starring Hilary Swank has been canceled by Netflix after one season according to Deadline. This is the latest in a series of shock cancellations by Netflix, who has canceled more shows after one season than ever this year. The cancellation of Away has come as a surprise to many as the show is believed to be a substantial hit for the service. When it came out in September, it was all over the place, and it was obviously it looked like it was doing well. But you're going to see, by the way they calculate statistics, where some things went wrong, and I'm going to point that out. It says, released in early September, according to Netflix-owned TV series charts, the show was the second most watched series on the streamer in September, spending 24 days in the U.S. top 10 and an impressive 12 days at number one, usually a reliable sign that the show will be renewed. Sounds good so far, right? The show also spent a number of weeks in the streaming top 10 compiled by viewing figures compiler Nielsen. The show was not only a hit in America, per Flix Portal, or Flix Patrol, Away is the 18th most watched show in the world on Netflix this year, beating major shows like Outer Banks, Never Have I Ever, and Outer Banks. Okay, they said that twice. All of which got renewed for more episodes. However... A ways cancellation proves that these charts can be misleading. After all, Netflix is viewed 
has revealed that their definition of a view is anything watched for over two minutes, which means a show can get a lot of views without anyone really watching it. And just there by me hearing about how they calculate views, what I think probably happened is a lot of people started watching the show thinking it looked kind of cool, worth giving a shot. And when they started seeing just just one thing after another about just like this, like, like I said, political correctness on steroids and pushing all these social, social justice warrior agendas, they probably were like, all right, the hell with this because this is ridiculous. And it's like this, you know, like a lot of movies and shows, they want to make money. That's their goal. Let's be honest here. So they're going to try to appeal to the biggest audience they can by sticking in all these different things. But that doesn't always go well because it alienates a core group and there's because you people aren't that stupid they can see what's going on you know and especially people that have been had these things pointed out they look for things but when again you have all these different agendas being pushed people are just like you know the hell with this i'm going to watch something else because they don't like people don't like being uh, have these things pushed in their face they don't like being talked at and that's what a lot of these shows do and a lot of these movies do and they, and they don't like it it's just it's stupid Continues, one possibility is that a lot of people started watching away, but not many finished it. Something that we know Netflix also considers when deciding whether to renew a show. Well, a lot of people, especially in this day and age, in the age of COVID, where they're working from home and they're at home more often compared to going out and doing things, people binge watch. So if they like a show, they're going to binge watch a lot of it probably within the course of a couple days or maybe a week. I'm different because I'm busy all the time and I don't have time to sit on my ass and watch TV. So I tend to spread things out, you know. But so I think they're deluding themselves. I, I honestly believe what happened was is that people just saw all what was going on and said, just the hell with this. I'm tired of this happening all the time with shows and movies. It goes on, per deadline, another factor may have been how away, how much away costs to make. As a sci-fi show about the voyage to Mars, led by a two-time Oscar winner, Away is likely a pricey show for Netflix, and we know that Netflix takes into account how much a show costs to make versus how big an audience it is bringing to the streaming service. And clearly this comparison did not work out in Away's favor. Yeah, sure, I'm, I'm sure it costs a lot of money, but I'm sure you guys have read articles about the kind of money Netflix spends to get, get rights to different shows, and so... They obviously knew what they obviously knew what was going into what kind of money they were going to spend for the show, but they obviously like they had, the show got a lot of attention because of the statistics. But like I said, I think a lot of people started watching the show and said, "No, I want to be entertained, not be lectured, and have this stuff pushed on me." That's what I think what happened. Netflix has infamously become more and more willing to axe its shows after one season as the years goes on. For example, so far this year, the streamer has ended the runs of over a dozen English-language scripted shows with The Society, The Dark Crystal, Age of Resistance, V Wars, Soundtrack, Messiah. Messiah was cool. I watched that last winter. If any of you guys saw that, that was a very interesting show. That sucks. I want to see season two of that. Spinning Out, October Faction, White Lines, Turn Up, Charlie, Merry Happy Whatever, Astronomy Club, AJ, and The Queen. The Big Show Show and Teenage Bounty Hunters ending after one batch of episodes. However, Away is the first show this year to end after one season despite reaching the top of Netflix series charts in the U.S. Away is streaming now on Netflix. So, this is a quick article, guys, but again, I want to talk about that. So, for any of you guys that have watched that show... Let me know in the comments section, did you pick up on all these things? I'm sure you guys picked up on some of it, but let me know all the different things you picked up on and what you thought along the way. How long did it take you to realize this? Did you guys watch the whole thing or did you just say the hell with it after one or two episodes? I'd like to know about that. And, um, but like I said, guys, these things keep blowing up in the faces of these networks or these movie studios, you know, they, they may make money, but they may not make the kind of money they want them to make. And so how many of these shows are they going to keep putting out there until they realize, let's take out all the politics, let's take out all the agendas, and make a nice entertaining show. But so far they haven't learned their lesson, but they're going to keep doing that because nobody wants that stuff shoved in their face. And by the way, if you guys like um, 
science fiction stuff or space stuff, I just started watching this show. It's on Disney Plus under National Geographic called The Right Stuff. And it starts off in 1959 with the space program in the U.S. with NASA and all that with, you know, John Glenn and Alan Shepard and guys like that. It's a pretty interesting show. Obviously, it's got its critics to have issues with certain things, but I think it's entertaining. The fourth episode should be on on Friday. It comes out once a week. Give it a shot. You might like it. But anyhow, guys, I wanted to share that with you, let you know, and I wanted to hear what you think about that. So be sure to comment down below. Let me know what you think about the, vid the whole show, your opinion on it, and all the stuff being shoved in our faces. And be sure to like the video, share it with your friends, and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time.